It's been a common theme. The president leaping into contested nomination fights, doling out endorsements at times several times a day. And with a single tweet, President Trump is effectively deciding primaries. He's tough, he's smart. Like his endorsement of Congressman Ron DeSantis for Florida governor, taking him from underdog to clear front runner. The president intervening in a way GOP strategist Brian Walsh says his predecessors never could. We also didn't have was Twitter before, you know, before when George Bush was in, in office or other folks. But they also didn't necessarily have the platform that President Trump does today and he is putting that to use. But the president's role as party kingmaker has caught some candidates and Republican operatives off guard. In certain cases, it's certainly frustrating for party officials uh, who are carefully managing some of these races that there's not necessarily a process of vetting certain candidates. You have a situation where the president is coming in to endorse someone like Chris Kobach in, in Kansas or Ron DeSantis in Florida, and those are not necessarily the candidates that I think, quote, establishment Republicans uh, would really want in, in those races. President Trump has endorsed more than 20 Republicans running for office in 2018. And while many of them have done well in their primaries, some experts worry about their prospects ahead of the general election. So you look at Kansas, for example, or Florida, you know, arguably you have a candidate who's not the strongest candidate to face the Democrats in the fall. Everyone knows my husband Ron DeSantis is endorsed by President Trump. In more purple states like Florida, a presidential endorsement could have consequences later. If you're going to embrace the president and the president's going to embrace you in a primary, that uh, creates some kind of tailor-made material uh, for the general election. You'll probably see the Democrats try to revive that strategy and use Trump against, uh, against Republicans, particularly after some of these primaries are over. This is only the beginning. President Trump has recently vowed a campaign six or seven days a week this fall for vulnerable Republican candidates. In Washington, Samantha Giroff, Spectrum News.